finding your business niche is essential to achieving business success and to achieving clarity in growing and building your business. So in this video, we'll be looking at why finding your own specific niche, finding your own specific specialization is the key to success. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. For those who don't know me, I'm Luke Nicolas Velikritien. I'm the founder of Business Purpose Mastery. And with this channel, I hope to help aspiring entrepreneurs build and grow their purpose-driven business. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. So what is a niche? A niche business is a business that operates in a slice of a market that operates in a specific area of uh, a business. So imagine you are imagine you are an accountant that provides services to 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 business owners, provides accounting and tax services to business owners. You would have a niche that would be very specific. For, for example, you help plumbers because you are very specialized in the way they do business in the way they operate, in, in the difficulties or the challenges that they might face. So you have very specific knowledge, a very specific experience. So when you operate your niche in a specific market, you have a much stronger strategic and competitive position compared to other businesses. And you might be thinking, why is that? Why is that the case? Well, I can tell you that in any kind of business, there are there is competition. That means that a consumer or one of your clients can choose from multiple, multiple suppliers and from multiple companies. That means that you will never be the only one in the market providing that service, providing in this, for example, accounting service or providing services to cleaning services providing coaching services, whatever the product or service is, there will always be competition. Even if there is no competition at this moment, if other entrants see the possibility of generating revenue, of, of building a business in your market, in the market that you're operating financially successfully in, they will eventually want to be entering your market. So competition will will rise it's just a matter of time so what can you do as a business owner or as an as an aspiring entrepreneur to specialize that's the root word here specialization when you specialize when you're an expert in a specific area you have a specific knowledge that solves a very specific problem and that specific problem solving is actually what is so valuable for your customers so imagine the example of you being that accountant that provides accounting and tax services to plumbers you know exactly the ins and outs of that business meaning that your customers are willing to pay first of all more money for your services than for an accountant that that provides his services to all kinds of businesses why because you can solve their problem better and faster and at a higher quality level, because you have your specific experience, so that's a huge plus. That's a huge benefit, especially when you're especially when you're providing customized services. So if you would look at the the the, the range of services that a business can provide, so we have low ticket items, so low low price services, for example, doing regular or standardized activities and then you have highly specialized activities which have a higher price and in in that scale in that range of services you can provide a much higher premium price when you when you are specialized when you're niched in a specific area and the beauty of it is that no one will be comparable to your business because you are very specific you are very unique and that uniqueness is what makes the comparison makes the comparison com your product and service that compared to, to your competitor makes it easy for your customer to decide from, okay i want to be using or i want to be doing business with this provider with this supplier because he knows the way 
my business runs. He knows my pains. He knows how to solve them. And that that is actually basically the core of niching. When you found your, depends on where you live, some people call it niching, other people call it niche, niching. Niching, it's just a matter of pronunciation. But in the end, it's all about being highly specialized, highly focused, highly highly narrowed down with regard to your target market. So who are you serving? So who are your clients? Who are you helping? And that is a question in combination with the purpose. So why are you actually running your business? Why do you want to be helping these kinds of customers, these kinds of people, right? So that question in combination with, so why do you want to be helping those people and who will you be helping? If you combine those two, you have a really powerful recipe or strategy for, for, for a strong business foundation. And niching is something that is scary. Doing niching is very scary. And why is that scary? Well, imagine if you are unsure, you're doubting about what to pursue. So like you you know, for example, that you love helping people, for example, improve their health, right? So you're sure about the what you want to be doing, but you're not sure as to with whom or for whom you would be like would like to provide the services that you have, but you're doubting. You're like you're not feeling convinced as to whether, for example, you should be helping men over 50 become uh, fit or perhaps you would like to be helping women over 40 uh, married uh, single moms that need uh, uh, help becoming more fit so you have two very different target markets and you are unable to choose that is very common and what you can do to 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 solve that is to think well about where your connection lies with your customer so in business often what we do is actually we help other people with problems with difficult situations that we have had personally in our past and by doing that you actually pave the way you you pave the you pave a road that you will be walking on later on you will pave a road that you know exactly how to navigate, how to go left or how to go right in situations, in difficult situations. And what I can tell you is that when you have that specific niche, you will know it to be right. You will know that you are meant to be helping that specific group of people. And my advice would always be just try it out. Just do not theorize too much. Do not contemplate too much just start by serving those people and see what works and what doesn't what what you like and what you don't like perhaps you start out by helping uh, start out by helping men and you you see that you are much more suited to be helping for example a younger group of people because you're yourself you yourself uh, you're you're younger in age group and you would prefer to to associate yourself with that age group and that's totally fine but the idea is that if you never try you will never know so the key here is to finding your niche is by basically tasting the same as you would go to a restaurant and you would order all the possible dishes that they have and taste 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 each dish and see what works best for you that's the same with niching and you could try to think to find the niche before actually providing the work before actually doing before taking action and that that that's fine if you're you if you're so far in that stage if you're so 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 sure then go for it i would say uh, and if not if you're doubting then you can use the approach that i mentioned and the last thing that i wanted to be sharing is why niching down is so crucial to achieving business success well it has to do with the fact that like I mentioned, when you are very highly specialized, when you're highly niched, you have a very specific skill set of, inf inf of information that people are willing to pay more, relatively more money for. And that actually 
that financial translation ensures that you as a business will have more financial success as compared to being very generic. So I like to use the analogy of a photographer. So imagine, okay, imagine you're getting married and you are searching for a photographer. Would you rather choose a photographer for your own wedding that is specialized in doing wedding photos or perhaps a photographer that does uh, nature photos that does uh, portraits like headshots or perhaps a photographer that also does uh, weddings so like which person would you choose i would choose the personally i would go for the photographer that is highly specialized instead of the photographer that does three four five different areas and i believe that niching down is one of the key elements that especially small businesses can use as a as i collect like call it a, as a special weapon as a special tool against big companies which have lot, much bigger budgets to advertise much have much bigger budgets to hire highly skilled employees small businesses do not have do not have that luxury so they have to find another let's say unique way to to position themselves strongly in the market and i believe that's by finding your niche and by specializing okay if you found these this video valuable then please subscribe leave behind a comment and if you would like to hear more about this topic then please just let me know and i will see you in the next one thanks